Hello, my name is Nicole Hartley Bradford. I am the originator of Awakening the Village. I am a possibilitator. I use the distinctions, maps, tools, and processes of possibility management in the work I do with individuals, couples, groups, families, eco-villagers, and eco-villages, and projects around the world. And today I had somebody ask me, what, what does five bodies mean? And so I'm here to draw for you the map of five bodies and present the distinctions that are part of that map. All right, so uh, in possibility management, it, the, the first map of bodies was a map of four bodies. And it, it of course started with the physical body. which is pretty familiar to most people. To, in, in modern culture, we talk a lot about the physical body. In fact, it's given a lot of importance, isn't it? Mm, the physical body is made of, of skin and bones and blood and teeth and organs. And, mm, and it, it, it is, it's fed by food water, mm, it's fed by air, oxygen that needs to breathe. Mm, it's also fed by movement and touch. And it experiences pain and it experiences ecstasy. Mm, it starts as a very small embryo and it, it grows. And it grows to, you know, a, this full size comes comes at a certain point around mm, 18, 20 years of age. And then beyond that point, it, it starts to, you know, it continues to be fed. It continues to experience pain. It continues to have the capacity to experience intimacy, ecstasy. Mm, it also can continue to, like, be be a lot more like it was at this age as it as it grows and grows it can also start to age and deteriorate and start to experience pains that really no food can can compensate for and and the physical body has been experimented with a lot in modern culture and and that's the physical body oh one other thing about it the center of this physical body is a kind of center of balance, a center of, mm, yeah, balance that is located between the hips and between the front and back of the pelvis area. And, and it, the physical body and its center are the most stable of the bodies. Next, there is so it's the physical. Next, there is the mental body. Mental body, also known as the intellectual body. I'm just gonna move this so that I see it more clearly, so that you can see it more clearly. It doesn't really work. The screen's backwards from what I see. <laughs> The mental body is another body that is talked about a lot in modern culture. It's actually, it's really the focus of a lot of modern culture activities to develop the mental body. It's fed knowledge and information and it, at school, this is like the place where the, where the mental body is fed. So food for the mental body are ideas, knowledge, information. It's made of memes. Mm. Here, the physical body is made of physical things, bones, blood, tissues, organs. The mental body is made of ideas, thoughts, memes. It, it could be said that the physical body is made of genes. It's got genetic material, and the genes are to the physical body what memes are to the mental body. 
the center of the mental body is in the head. And it, you know, it's hard to know precisely where the mental body begins, but it too grows. And by the time a person's, you know, graduated from high school or university, the mental body mm, can be quite large and can be in a way top heavy. But the mental body, in addition to the food of ideas and thoughts and puzzles and problems and mm, things like that add up to like discovery and exploration of the mental realms, these can bring ecstasy in the mental body. The mental body can experience pain when there are dissonances between mm, ideas and thoughts that that are in it. It can be like kind of torn apart and it can become confused. And I'll, I'll move on from there. So the next body is the emotional body. Now the emotional body, the center of the emotional body is in the heart. The emotional body, again, you know, begins, let's say in utero, where where the child that's growing experiences feelings the four primary feelings being anger sadness fear and joy these are primary feelings similar to the primary colors and out of these four feelings can be they can be mixed and they can exist at the same time in the same way that two colors, two primary colors can exist in the same time and be mixed and then occur as, you know, a massive list of, of things we call feelings. There are also emotions that happen in the emotional body. Emotions being distinct from feelings in that emotions may exist in the physical body in states of numbness as well as in states of being active emotions are from the past or for ex from external sources but they can also be they are also felt in the emotional body uh, feelings that are being felt in the emotional body in the present are distinct be from emotions because they are about the present and the, the foods for the emotional bodies can include things like mm, uh, feeling emotions, feeling feelings, having someone hold space while I share and feel my feelings and while I process emotions in, in spaces that are the purpose of the space is for an emotional healing process to occur. Uh, again, the growth of the emotional body, often because in modern culture, emotions and feelings are not worked with very much and feeding of the emotional body is, is there's not a lot of understanding about it, that a person's growth can be really stunted, uh, you know, and, and, and a person can, it can be, it can, it can take distinctions like this that will help bring ecstasy and food to the emotional body so that it can continue to grow and expand and be, you know, fit and healthy. The fourth body is the energetic body. The center of the energetic body is the most unstable. As the physical body and center are the most stable, the energetic body and center are the least stable. And you may have heard the saying that energy goes where attention flows, or energy flows where attention goes. So the energetic body can become split. It can, because wherever the attention goes, which is partly part of the mental body, is determines where the center goes. So if there's, you know, if, if you give a lot of attention to, say, your father while you grow up, 
a lot of your energetic body can be with with your father your your energetic center can be with your father and until you use your intention to move your intent attention back to yourself that these energetic splits can happen they can be also more temporary where if i'm thinking about the future or the past my attention goes outside of the here and now if i don't consciously bring it back there can be an energetic like residue happening and and this is why one of many of the processes and tools that we use in possibility management are about bringing the energetic center back placing it on the physical center and this creates the energetic experience of being centered the energetic body has foods there are such things as music and they usually happen in conjunction with the physical body mental and emotional bodies the energetic body is kind of concerned with or influenced by things like tempo and timing mm, harmony is an energetic distinction that, that of course is connected with music and hearing mm, and the energetic body is maybe one of the the bodies where where you know it maybe even is talked about and and fed at least consciously less than even the emotional body so what about the fifth body the fifth body is called the archetypal body and for a long time the four body map was the map that was used in possibility management to refer to our bodies but then came this grow this distinction started coming into play and the and the word archetypal started to be used to describe a fifth body and how it went was was something like this as as the growing happens continues to happen in the emotional body in the energetic body as the mental body which maybe has kind of got this big starts to um, where when thoughtware upgrades start to happen and the mimetics change the physical the mental body can kind of be drawn back the well-being and the ecstasy in the physical body means that there comes a time where the archetypal body comes online so to speak or is plugged into or jacked into and the archetypal body is is somehow about growing up and waking up into an archetypal version of ourselves and the way it was drawn in in a in a possibility lab in the past was was like this So you can see how this represents that the archetypal body is, you know, there's something about this, this expansion that happens in the other bodies that, that kind of brings, brings the archetypal body online, so to speak. And the archetypal body is about purpose. It's about mm, maybe, Maybe it's about what you're created for. And in possibility management, we, we talk about archetypal lineage as being kind of uh, something to be jacked into and, and something that does its work through us, through our other bodies. And so that it kind of also works this way, that our archetypal body works through our other four bodies and, and in service to bright principles in the world and that this is connected to evolution on planet earth and i'll stop there if you want to learn more about the five bodies you can visit fivebodies.com
mystrikingly.com. This is a website that's part of the Start Over XYZ game in which possibility management distinctions, tools, maps, and processes have been translated into this massive multiplayer on and offline game that anyone can play. It's free to play. The website you'll see has theory and, and links to other, other distinctions, other maps. And it also has experiments that you could do. And if you choose, you can register the experiments that you do at the start over XYZ on the game to earn matrix points. And the purpose of this game is to increase the conscious awareness on planet Earth and to evolve human consciousness. And then we'll see what happens. You can also learn more about me and my work. And I will put links to these things in the show notes. So thank you for watching. And mm, I wish you... I wish you ecstasy in all five of your bodies. Bye for now.